Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details here, and you may be wondering why am I sitting on the floor of my carport? Uh, no, I'm not hiding from my kids. They're inside watching a movie, but I just got home from running some errands, and I had something happen a little bit earlier, and I just wanted to kind of share with you an idea that I had for a little experiment. So I had some scratches happen on the side of my car door from puppy nails. Um, it's not a big deal. It can be polished out. It didn't go, you know, it's not deep or anything like that. But I definitely, because I'm anal about my car and because it's a Subaru in soft paint, I want to correct it and try to remove the scratches. But because my vehicle is ceramic coated, if I polish it, I'm pr it's probably going to be removing the ceramic coating. So I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to do a little bit of an experiment. So real quick, let me show you the condition of the paint and then I'll kind of explain to you my thoughts that I'm thinking for this experiment. All right, so you can see she definitely left her mark. And again, I'm not mad, it's a puppy. She was excited to see me. It is just a car and it can be corrected. It was nothing deep. I can't catch my fingernail on it. Even if I can't remove it completely, I can definitely blend it so that it's not as noticeable. But we do need to do some polish work on it just because one, I'm anal, and two, I, I wanna make sure that the vehicle finish is as good as it can be. So what is this experiment I'm talking about? Well, to make this short and sweet, my vehicle is coated with IGL Quartz Plus, and I thought it would be a really cool experiment to test out a prosumer, professional consumer grade ceramic coating. This is a three year ceramic coating. I've had it on since November of last year. So we're well over six months into it. But I thought it would be really cool to experiment and see what a prosumer grade versus a entry level consumer grade ceramic coating, how they compete, how they compare. So I'm going to be applying DPC Shield to this panel and I'm going to be comparing it to IGL Quartz Plus. And I'm probably going to do this for the next couple of months. So I encourage you guys, if you want to kind of see, you know, how DPC Shield competes with some of the higher market uh, ceramic coatings that are out there, you know, definitely subscribe, definitely follow me just to make sure that you're staying up to date on any of the future videos. Obviously, I'm going to have other videos coming out along the way. But I'm going to apply this hopefully sometime next week. I have a ceramic coating tomorrow that I'm not going to be able to do it. But uh, we're going to apply this next week, and we're going to give it the three to five days to cure. And then from there, we'll compare the water performance, well, the water activity, how the maintenance is, how it is when you're driving in rain and what it looks like differently, or maybe how it is exactly the same. I want to kind of see, is it worth you know, having to spend top dollar for a pro product that you have to spend over $100 for maybe two cars application versus $35 for 10 to 11 cars? And what is the appeal between having a prosumer grade versus consumer grade? So I want to kind of, you know, do a little bit of R&D, personal stuff. And again, this is just my opinion. I am an IGL Arthritis installer. I'm not going to crack them. It is a phenomenal product. It has made cleaning my vehicle so much easier. You know, and with any ceramic coating, you're going to have issues with water spots, with, you know, other things like that, that you, you have to use certain soaps and, and different toppers and things like that. But... You know, I'm excited to kind of see how these two compare. So be sure to follow, be sure to subscribe so that you can come along with me on this journey. So we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.